shelter, a place to lie down. The innkeeper said, there is no room tonight. Sleep in the stable until it is light. So Mary and Joseph went in to stay, next to a cow and a horse eating hay, with only the animals standing near. Miracle of miracles did appear. <laughs> Into the world, Mary's son came. Born in a manger, Jesus his name. The angels came with tidings of joy, singing a song for the new baby boy. The shepherds were filled with feelings of cheer. They went to the boy, the Savior was here. Then into the stable came three men so wise. They brought the new baby a lovely surprise. Yeah. The king of kings this child will be. We follow the star bringing gifts of thee, of three. Frankincense, myrrh, and bright shiny gold. The birth of the Christ child we did behold. Trust in 
Oh, look at that. Hard to follow kids. <laughs>
Yo, yo, yo. Introducing the famous rap group Shepard C. Make some noise! up here, Shepard C. First we have Wide-Eyed C, looking for everything Jesus has to offer. Then we have Junior C, learning and yearning, growing up in the world. Then we got Middle C, building up and showing up in the Lord. And of course then we have, of course we have, believe it or not, Encouragement C, guarding the doors to this holy place, making sure Everyone who enters has a smile on their face. And I'm Word C, teaching and preaching, saving, uh, teaching and preaching, saving words to hear. So y'all listen up. This is Shepherd C, and it's time for the Christmas story wrap. You see, so be aware, alert, and tune in and touch, and know that Jesus was born the Son of God. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, he was born on that Christmas day. Now we, the shepherd sheep grazing in the night, fell to the ground when the stars shone bright. We feared and troubled, we were sore affright. Angels said, dudes, behold this holy night. The angel appeared, told us not to fear. It's time to take a journey to find the Christ child, dear. So get ready for our story, tell it far and wide. Christ lives forever, it's our shepherd's cry. Now I will say a line, then repeat it after me. Follow my shepherd posse as we journey to the king. Yo, uh, <laughs> we're going on a journey. Going on a journey. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night. We're going to find the Jesus. We're going to find the Jesus. And we're not scared. And we're not scared. Oh no, long grass. Oh no, long grass. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Gotta go through. Gotta go through. <laughs> We're going on a journey. We're going on a journey. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night. We're going to find the Jesus. We're going to find the Jesus. And we're not scared. Yeah. And we're not scared. Oh no, a fast river. Oh no, a fast river. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. You gotta go through. <laughs> you gotta go through. Let's dive. <laughs> we're going on a journey. We're going on a journey. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night. We're going to find the Jesus. We're going to find the Jesus. And we're not scared. And we're not scared of a dark wood. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Gotta go through. Gotta go through. <laughs> okay, we're going on a journey. We're going on a journey. It's a beautiful night. It's a beautiful night. Yeah. We're going to find the Jesus. We're going to find the Jesus. And we're not scared. And we're not scared. Yeah. Believe it or not. Oh no, a snowstorm! Oh no, a snowstorm! Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Yeah. Gotta go through. Gotta go through. <laughs> Look, a star. Look, a star. It's over a stable. It's over a stable. Do you hear the baby? Do you hear the baby? Look, the baby. Look, the baby. It's baby J. It's baby J. Born in the manger. Born in the manger. It's Christmas Day. It's Christmas Day. Let's go and tell our families. Let's go and tell our families. Raise the roof for Baby J. Raise the roof for Baby J. Now let's break it down. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. How about you? How about you? Don't more time. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I love Jesus. 
I love Jesus. How about you? How about you? All right, Posse, let's go. Woo Now look at the broken ornament. Let's just say 
This is light is Jesus. When you put the light of Jesus inside you, it's like the light is being placed inside the broken ornament. Beacons of light shine through. People notice beauty through the brokenness and are drawn to the light. When I put the exact same amount of light in the perfect ornament, it doesn't allow any light to shine through. Let's all allow others to be blessed by the light they see shining through us. They will see the hope that God offers through salvation in his son, Jesus. God wants to so show himself strong through us. Let your light so shine before men. Matthew 5, 16. <laughs> You just went literally 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Wait, well, you have to stop again? If you were in my position, you would have to go a lot too. Just pull on over to the Wendy's, I'll run in. Okay. Just go to the bathroom real quick, we'll be good. Fine, whatever, just make it quick, okay? Okay. Um, but first, can I have some money? For what? What do you need money for? The Frosties sound really good. <laughs> hey! I'll be the Just be quick, okay? Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's a little cold. You're cold? You're eating a frosty. It's called ice cream, honey. That's how it works. That is cold. Get over it. Having the Son of God, I mean, 
We're in a dirty pool house with no heat or bathroom, mind you. I thought I would be like in a place with heat and a bathroom and some food. Macaroni and cheese sounds so good. You got your frosty. Um, you know, they say that girls are confusing, but I really think that God has us beat because sometimes I wonder why he does what he does. You know, he chose me, an unmarried, well-respected teenager, to carry his child. Why did he choose me? And why did he choose you? And why did he choose for his holy son to be born on a dirty floor? It just seems so imperfect for a king. Yeah. I seem so imperfect for a king. What if I'm not a good mother to the son of God? Mary. Mary. Yeah. God chose you. And you are definitely not perfect, but you're the perfect person for this job. And I'm definitely not perfect, but... Hey, you heard that camera. Okay. I'm, I'm not as perfect as you, but I'm the perfect person for this job. And God chose us together. He chose us together uh, for this plan. And when the holy baby comes, it'll be awesome. It'll be amazing. It'll be just as God, hello, can you hear me? It'll be just as God planned, and it'll be beautiful, because God doesn't choose perfect people, does he? He perfects the people that he chooses, and it's amazing. It shows his love, and it shows his grace for us. And even though uh, you're, you're very flawed, uh, you're, okay, so you're slightly flawed in just a few, a few minor, very minor ways, you know, you, uh, you complain about the heat and, and you, you constantly crave Frosties and uh, you got to go to the bathroom all the time. I mean, my goodness, uh, you're, you're an amazing part of his plan. Speaking of which. His plan? Can you help me? Sure, I can help you. You know, Frosty sounds really good right now. Seriously? representation of how, you know, for years they had awaited the prophecies of this king coming. Um, and then he came as a baby, and some did not recognize him as such. Um, and now we are still waiting for his return. And I thought it was a beautiful parallel of the Christmas story and the hope that we have now. So just a second. turns into night, a town lit up by candlelight, all the children tucked in tight. 
high Bethlehem turns into night The angels start their whispering About the one they're welcoming No one knows what's soon to be As the angels start their whispering they sing glory in the highest Come now, our King We've been waiting Yet once again The shepherds leave for Bethlehem A baby's cry soon welcomes them Silence falls yet once again They seem low Said the king to the king. 
thank everybody for the thing tonight. Uh, we had a few solos that they've never done before by themselves tonight, so I want everybody to give everybody a hand. <laughs> On July 9, 2004, there was a knock at the house door. A man opened the door. They were standing in the door with a state highway patrolman. Mr. Quillen, your daughter Amber was killed in an auto accident. Amber was 16 years old. How do you handle such a tragedy? How would you feel as a father, mother? I've, some probably have gone through it. Um, I don't know what I do. Amber had a twin sister. Her name was Aubrey. On December 5th, 2015, there was a second knock. It couldn't be. There was a state highway patrolman. He says, Mr. Quillen, I have to inform you. Your daughter, Aubrey, was killed in an auto accident. The heartbreak Mr. and Mrs. Quillen felt was unbearable. The emptiness, sorrow, grief to compound the second tragedy. Aubrey, 28 years old, yeah. left behind two children. Sam Malachi, four years old. Yeah. The daughter, Farah, Farah, eight months. In the Bible there's a story, some say the greatest story ever told, a story that I believe is true. A story of amazing circumstances, a story of hard to believe, the story of a virgin named Mary, who was probably anywhere from 13 to 14 year old at this time that the angel appeared to her. And the first words he says, do not be afraid. So she must have had this look on her face like she was in shock or all. But he gave her good news that she was going to carry the child, the Savior, the King. Yeah. Also, her husband-to-be, Joseph, when he found this out and realized that she was pregnant and they had not done anything, he was probably in shock too. He probably thought, she's cheated on me, she's, she's done wrong. Um, the neighbors were talking, her parents were upset, her father was upset with Joseph because he thought that he had done something wrong, he hadn't. And uh, Mary tried to explain it to Joseph. But Joseph didn't understand until an angel came to him and told him the same, that you, you, she was going to bear a child and his name was going to be Jesus, Jesus and he was going to save the world. Um, a story of a virgin that gave birth to the King, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus, the Son of God, sent to die for you, me, Amber, Aubrey. Sent by a father to save sinners. The sent believable act of love was foretold since the day of Adam, Genesis 3.15. It also talks about it in Isaiah a couple of times. For a child, Isaiah 9, 6, where a child is born to give a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he'll be called a wonderful counselor. Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and he shall be called Emmanuel. I relate this story because this happened to a friend of mine just this past Saturday the 5th, his second daughter was killed in an auto accident. Um, the grief he felt, not knowing this kid was going to die, yeah. but the grief God had felt, or has to feel, knowing that he sent his son for a purpose and that he was going to die. Um, tonight our love offering is going to go to the Quillen family. So if you have anything that you can give to them to help them out. Um, Malachi is staying with his grandparents now. His, his father's not in his life too much. They've uh, got temporary custody of him. So um, if we, anything we can do to help the family would be greatly appreciated. Um, what we're going to do is empty the rows out, starting on the edges, come in and then go back and set back down. If you can offer anything at all, it'd be greatly appreciated. If you can't, you stay seated, but if you can offer something, we'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for your very generous donations. Um, as, a, as a dad, as somebody who has kids, um, as many of you do, and as, uh, I just can't, can't even fathom what they're going through, lost two daughters. I know we've had some fun tonight, and we've had some serious time here the last few minutes. I want to share uh, a verse for both from the Christmas story. 
This is from Luke chapter 2. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. We, we know the Bible, and we look at this, and we, we know what's going to happen with Jesus, but can you imagine waiting 400 years from the Old Testament to the New? You don't hear anything from God. You're waiting and waiting and waiting for Messiah. 400 years is a long time. And then finally the news comes, the baby has been born, Jesus the Messiah, the, the, in the city of David. We get a lot of bad news in life, don't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. There's, a lot of you hate your jobs, or you don't like them very much. They pay you, that's why you go. Uh, you have difficulties in your marriage. Yeah. You have difficulties with your kids with your family members, friends, financial difficulties, struggles emotionally and mentally. Bad news is commonplace. Sicknesses, disease, illness, death, unexpected death. And yet with Jesus, we have good news, or I would say the best news ever in the history of the world. <coughs> and who's it for? All people. Not one race, not one ethnicity, not one country. All people everywhere in the world can take part in this great news that produces what? Great joy. I love that. We can all use a little bit more joy in our lives, couldn't you? Yes. Yeah. And with Jesus, with your sufferings, with your hardships, with the difficulties and the pain and the arguing with your spouse and we ain't got no money. No. <laughs> this is joy that goes beyond any and all circumstances. You lose a loved one, you, you lose your job, you have just a bunch of garbage happening in your life, but yet the hope that we have in Jesus is eternal. It transcends our difficulties. It doesn't matter what's happening around us because of what he did. It doesn't matter forever. We will have hardships and pain, but if we have Jesus, you have hope. Isn't that the greatest thing ever? That there'll be a day with no more pain, no more suffering, no more tears, no more death. And that will be a joyful day for all the people who follow Jesus. Amen? Amen. It's, it's amazing truth. Amazing truth. What we're going to do is I want to just read a, a verse and then we will, the ushers will pass out the candles as I'm reading. And uh, we're going to sing a cappella. What is it? Silent Night. Probably wasn't if Mary was in labor, but we call it Silent Night because that sounds pretty. <laughs> so let me read you this first. Can we get the lights out, please? Back there. Oh, no way. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, baby Jesus, you've heard of him. He grew up. That's the same guy. Did you know that? <laughs> Cross Jesus is the same as baby Jesus. And when he grew up, he said this Jesus spoke to the people once more and said I am the light of the world I am the light of the world Jesus said if you follow me you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life if you have 
Jesus, you have everything. You have eternal joy, <laughs> eternal hope, eternal peace, abundant life today and forevermore. If you don't have Jesus, you have none of that. You are walking in darkness. Praise God that Jesus leads us out of the darkness, out of our pain, out of our despair, out of our difficulties, out of our sin and eternal death and into his life. And how's that song go? You can sing it if you know it. Hide it under a bushel. No. I'm going to let it shine. Will you shine the light of Jesus? Not just have it, but shine it and share it with the people around you so that they can have the light and be out of their darkness, too. So I'm going to start. What you do is the person who has the light does not turn the candle so we don't have to clean up wax. The other person goes like this and they turn it sideways just like that. Okay, so you stay still. And then do the next person, the next person. And then as we're doing that, you can all stand and we will sing Silent Night. <coughs> There's cookies and a punch after the service. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Silent night.